Alright, so we will continue with a dis- discussion of the mini exam. So let's go have a look of this question. Puan Abiro wants uh, to install white and black tiles in the living room of her house. The price for a piece of white tile is Ringgit Malaysia X, while a piece of black tile costs Y Ringgit. The contractor has given two suggestions of the tile arrangement with a different price amounts as in the table below. So let's have a look of this suggestion by the contractor. So based on the first arrangement and the price, we can actually form the equation. So for the y is rmx. So let's write down x for y. So 3x, 4x, 5x, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So we have 12x plus how many y? So how to calculate the y is we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 times 5, 25. 25 minus 12, right? It's faster than you count one by one. 13. Y. Okay, it's equal to 101. Okay, because the price for one unit of the Y is X ringgit. We have 12 Y. So the price for the white one is 12 times X. And the price for the black one is Y ringgit y is not given example y is uh, 10 ringgit so you have 13 black so you take 13 times 10 but now you're having 13 y so you just add up 13 y and the total uh, location or the price is 101 okay so we are going to form another one for the second suggestion so we have for x I think we count the black one easy, right? So we have how many Y? Let's see. Uh, the Y, 1 Y, 2 Y, 3 Y, 4, 5, 6, 7. We have 8 Y. So if we have 8 Y, so we can write down how many X? Let's see. Our X will be 25 minus Eight, right so we have 17 x plus 8y equal to 91 just now uh, the first equation is 12 x plus 13 y is 101 so we have two equations so we are going to solve uh, the equation okay either you use elimination or substitution so let's uh let's see uh, let's say i want to use a uh, substitution so if i want to use a substitution i will actually choose one of the equation then i will express y in terms of x or x in terms of y let's say i'm going to choose uh i can always start with this one i say my y is 91 minus 17 x over 8 so i call this is uh, number 3 right so from number 3 i'm going to substitute into number 1 okay so sub 3 sub 3 into 1 all right so we have 12 we are going to count word everything into x 91 minus 17 x over 8 okay this is y equal to 101 so let's solve it carefully so since we have 8 as a denominator so we can multiply by 8 for everyone so that we can get rid of the 8 as the denominator 
so we have 96x plus uh, you press the calculator 13 times 91 you get 1183 minus okay 13 times the number there is actually okay so this is 17 huh? okay 13 times 17 you get 221 right 221x and then is equal to 808 so if you solve carefully you get negative 1 2 5 x equal to negative 3 7 5 hence the x is equal to 3 all right how to find the y let's substitute x equal to 3 into into the uh, equation just now this one Okay, I'm going to substitute y is equal to 91 minus 17 times 3 over 8. So, y is 4, 0 dy by 8. So, the answer for y is 5. Got it? So, then, we're asking to solve the value of the x and y. So the mean x will be ringgit Malaysia 3 the price for the y tau is ringgit Malaysia y and the price for the black color one is equal to 5 ringgit right okay so we have solved the simultaneous equation using um, substitution so if you want to do using elimination is still okay we can do it let's say we have 13 y plus 12 x equal to 101 right then we have 8 y plus 17 x equal to 91 so we need to make sure we eliminate either one so let's say i want to eliminate the y so i will have to times the equation number one with the eight and this one i will have to times with the 13 okay so let's say if i times with the okay i times okay let's see this one i times with the 13 so i'm going to solve it now okay let's see 8 times 13 y you can press the calculator you get 104 y 8 times uh, 12 is 96 this is x and this is 808 right so this is number one number two from number two we will multiply by 13 so we will get the uh, 13 times 8 so we get 104y plus 13 times 17 you get 221x x missing is equal to 1183 so i'm going to minus this is number three this is number four so i can take four minus three or three minus four it's okay so i take three minus four so i'm going to minus so one zero four if i minus out one zero four i will get a balance which is of course will be zero right that is the purpose of elimination so we have eliminated 3 minus 4 so this one 0 96 minus 2 to 1 if you press a calculator you get 1 to 5x and 808 minus 1183 get you will get a negative number negative 375 so if you divide x is 3 and if you substitute back into 2 into 2 
so you get 8y plus 17 times 3 equal to 91 so if I use so carefully the y 8y equal to 40 and hence y is 5 so this is so called elimination okay we eliminate one of the unknown so the answer for the x is 3 and then for the y is ringgit malaysia 5 okay so that are the simultaneous equation using elimination and or you can use substitution all right okay so now i'm going to discuss question number four for question number four let's read the question you have a volume of for metal in the diagram okay uh the volume is was given for zero four okay for the crescents is 60 and then mr azam wants to change a pillar pillar for the matter which is cylinder shape to by maintain the volume of that solid so find the height of the cylinder Okay, we are going to find the height of the cylinder when the radius is 2 cm. Meaning that we have the volume for the crescent is 60 cubic centimeter, and the volume for the whole diagram for the matter was given 404, right? It's 404 cubic centimeter and this one i'm sure you can find the volume is 8 times 8 times 4 cubic centimeter so if you really calculate you will get the uh, 8 times 8 times the 4 you will get the answer which is equivalent to Okay, let's see 8 times 8 times 4 all right so the balance uh, we need to find this one let's say this this volume is x so i'm going to calculate the x first x is 404 minus out uh, 60 minus out 8 times 8 times 4 so the balance is actually uh, having the volume 88 cubic cent uh, cubic centimeter so we are going to convert this one into a cylinder so the cylinder is come with a radius right so we are going to replace this one okay going to replace this thing okay to represent the volume x so since the radius was given okay so we just calculate the height so pi is 2 to over 7 radius is was given and the height is not given so after calculated you will get the answer which is 7 cm for the height of the cylinder okay let's proceed to question number 5 for this question in diagram 5 PQIS is a trapezium and O is an origin straight line PQ is parallel to the SR and straight line PS is parallel to Y axis okay when it is parallel to y-axis okay this is actually a vertical line uh, it actually intersect at x-axis at x equal to negative 2 so this is actually the equation for 
a line PS. X equal to X intercept when you have a vertical line. And then the equation of RS. Equation of RS can be found if we can obtain the gradient for the PQ. So we find MPQ is you are having two points y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 be careful you need to be very careful because it is negative 2 over 6 so it's actually gradient is 1 over 3 right so because this is a trapezium they are parallel to each other so that means gradient of the pq must be equal to gradient of the sr right which is 1 over 3 so in order to form the equation for the sr we just need one point the point that lies on the rs is 9 1 so use y equal to m x plus c and the point is 9 1 that means the y that means we will substitute y1 m1 over 3 times 9 plus the c now we need to find the c so the 1 equal to 3 plus c so the c is negative 2 it means what it means the line is cutting the y-axis at the value which is negative 2 right so now we need to write the equation so just now the one for a is x equal to negative 2 for b is y equal to 1 over 3x minus 2 right okay so uh because we are going to find the equation of rs so we must use a point at the uh, rs so please remember that please do not use the point which is not on the rs okay you are not allowed to use the, the point on the pq if you use a point on the pq that means you are finding uh, you are not finding the equation for RS. Okay, so that is the answer for the line RS. The equation is y equal to 1 over 3x minus 2. Alright, so if the question asking for equation of PQ, then you will use either P or Q. If the question asking for RS, you must use the point that lies on RS. Alright, so remember that the first step is to find the gradient from two points. Okay, from these two points. 6 minus 4 over 4 plus 2. So the gradient is one third. By using the gradient, now we can actually find the y-intercept. Okay, so this is the answer for B. Okay, so now let's proceed to the next one. For this question, you are asking to state uh, whether the following statement is true or false. All rectangles are squares. Is it true or false? All rectangles are are false are square of course it will be for a statement because how can the rectangle is a square rectangle are not having the same side isn't it so we will write false so this is false okay so later we will write on the answer space okay state the contra positive of the following statement okay the contra positive so a uh, contra positive we will actually if a 
greater than 1 or less than 10 and n is an integer then a times 10 to the power n is not a standard form we have to negate this one right so let's uh, discuss the answer for the c okay let's discuss the answer for the c okay the c uh let's see make a general conclusion by induction for the sequence of the number which following patterns so let's see we have uh, the one remain unchanged will be half 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 so we copy down the half we have bracket everyone every term we have, we have bracket but we have one four nine keep on changing so we don't copy and we have one here and then over keep on changing so the keep on changing one will replace with the uh, number what number we use we will uh, substitute one one uh, but you see the second term you have four that means you will have one over two two but how to get four we have to square it isn't it so this one is uh, one over two this is uh, if I make it square like this okay and then the third term I will write as 1 over 2 3 square minus 1 over 3 so now let's say if I have the n term I will write as 1 over 2 n square minus 1 over n so this is called pattern number so uh, when you write your answer you are not allowed to write any subject for the pattern number okay so please do it seriously and don't simply do okay so this one negate the statement you copy if uh, copy carefully follow the question and double check it's not equal for 10 and and is not an integer right okay we have to negate the uh, sentence then a times 10 to the power of n is not a standard form okay so that is how you write the contra positive for the statement okay now for c the answer should be start with 1 over 2 n square minus 1 over n comma n must start from 1 2 comma 3 and 3 dot right it must be dot Make sure it's clear okay that is the answer for uh, question number six okay so i have discussed uh three four and then five and six so let's proceed to the next one for this one okay you are asking to determine uh, whether the point negative 2, 4 uh, satisfy the region or not okay so uh, how to determine whether it satisfy the region or not is you have to uh, test the point okay let's uh, let's use a negative 2, 4 where is a negative 2, 4 negative 2, 4 okay so uh, negative 1 negative 2 4 is here this is negative 2 4 so it seems like it 
it is lies in which region if i label the point then i know it lies above the region this line right and is actually above so i will say i can actually use an arrow to show so let me use an arrow or i can draw a line like this let's draw a line so it's above this line or you can draw the line so i can say it's y more than x okay uh and then uh, we want to check whether this is uh, y equal to 5 okay this is x plus y equal to 6 okay now the y equal to 3x plus 5 let's draw out the line or you can use substitution if you want up to you so for me i think i will draw the line y equal to 3x plus 5 when x 0 y is 5 okay when x 0 y is 5 so where is the point we will try to draw out the line x 0 y is 5 so okay let me use a blue okay then after that because y equal to 3x plus 5 if you let the y zero your x is negative right and it's not integer so let's say we don't use a intercept we let x zero y equal to five just now now we assuming the x is uh, maybe uh, one and y will be eight okay so when it is one y will be eight uh, we cannot have that point so we use another one let's say x is negative 1 y will be negative 3 plus y will be 2 okay let's say negative 1 here y will be 2 uh, here this one okay so we are going to draw the line okay i'm going to draw use you use a ruler to draw this line is actually y equal to okay if you draw the straight line okay let me draw a nice line i'm going to use the color uh, in green so i drag the line it's a straight line i don't have ruler this is y equal to 3x plus 5 okay so it seems like this point is above is above is at the region more than 3x plus 5 all right uh, because this line is actually a dotted line so i have to re redraw it's a dotted line okay let me draw again is a dotted line so because the equation you don't have the equal sign so we just okay so y more than 3x plus 5 so the point negative 2 4 65 means it lies on y greater than 3x plus 5 so the answer is y greater than 3x plus 5 okay or you can just use a table to test okay this is the y this is the 3x plus 5 like this so when you substitute x is negative 2 Okay, when s is negative 2, the y, it was given 4. So if I substitute uh, into the 3x plus 5, let's say, 
3, I will substitute and check 3 times negative 2 plus 5 is actually negative 1. So that means 4 is greater than negative 1. So it still confirm that this point uh, is lies uh, on the region y more than 3x plus 5. Alright, so let's do another one. Um, state two inequalities except x plus y greater than or equal 6 that define the shaded region. Okay, this is easy. You want to uh, come up with the inequality that satisfies this region. You just observe the line. Let's see uh, the line here is actually y equal to 5 right this is y equal to 5 let me clear it okay let's see okay now you, you look at that okay this one is y equal to 5 and the region is below so obviously this is y less than x for this line it below right so normally how you do is you can say that this uh, below this region is below and then this is above the y, y equal to x so this is more than x and then this is y less than 5 right and uh, we was given x plus y greater than 6 this one is x plus y greater than equal 6 so another answer will be the other answer will be obviously it will be y greater than x and one more is y less than 5 equal because it's a solid line okay so the answer is y less than equal 5 and one more is y more than x okay so be careful with the equal sign uh, the the 5 is a solid line solid line right so you need to make it equal because it's a solid line so we have statistic we have the distance time graph or speed time graph and we have a drawing for the elevation okay uh, we have the transformation okay for the coming media exam